Hello, I'm ABX Sliga and welcome back to the video. Today I want to answer a big question which I'm sure everyone has had at some point since the beta came out for the Xbox, which is what happens when you get to the Far Lands on Xbox? Or to put it another way, what happens when you get to the very edge of your Minecraft console world? Is there edge now or is there not? Because infinite worlds in Minecraft are never truly infinite. They're functionally infinite in that you'll never reach the edge in survival, but theoretically at the edge of a Minecraft PC world, there is a big world border. And theoretically at the edge of a Minecraft Pocket Edition world, there is the Far Lands. So what happens at the edge of a Minecraft console world? Well, it's actually different to either of those things, and I want to talk about and show it to you in this video today. So hopefully you all do enjoy it. I like this if you do like it, because it helps out the channel. And let's know you do like these source videos. Again, this is going to take me a lot of time and a lot of crashing, because if you go there, I'm, I'm going to warn you right now, at least in the beta, it's just crashing like crazy. So just keep that in mind. If you do want to do this, it's going to cause your game to break just a little bit. But I think it's still worth doing regardless, for reasons I'll be sharing with you all as we get into it. So let's get straight into talking about how you go to the Far Lands and where they are. So they generate about 12.5 million blocks away from spawn in any direction. Unfortunately, there's no coordinates from the uh, Minecraft console, so if you want to get there, all you have to do is, uh, you know, so what you have to do is you have to even, like walk there if you're in survival, which realistically is going to take you an absurd amount of time, even with horses and potions. It still takes you like uh, days and months and weeks, so you're not realistically doing that. What you're instead doing is you're going into creative and you're using cheats and you're teleporting yourself there. So how do you teleport yourself to the Far Lands? But what you want to do is you want to type slash and then teleport. So again, this is going to be easy enough to do. I'm using my uh, console controls to do this, so this is how you'll have to do it too if you don't have a keyboard. Uh, again, some people are like, you know what, that's too slow to look at, but I think it allows you to actually see every step one by one, because you type teleport, then you type your own gamer tag, or you can type uh, at P, I think, but we're going to type teleport to cat because that's my name, and then you type the coordinates you want to go to. So, in our case, the Far Lands, if I remember the exact coordinates, it's 550 and then 821, so we'll go to 12, uh, 12 million, 550,000, 800 blocks away from the spawn, then we'll set our Y coordinate, just be safe in case it's a mountain, to Y120, and then we'll set the other coordinate to, we can set a little anything more. We can be zero, we can be one, it doesn't matter. So we'll set those coordinates up and we'll go like that. And then we can teleport ourselves to the very edge of the Minecraft world, which will look something like this. So let's press X and let's go there now. So again, it takes the game a long time to catch up. You can see how the memory at the top just kind of jumped and like nothing's really loading here because it's generating a whole new world. But here we are at the edge of the Minecraft console world. So what do you see at the edge of the Minecraft console world? Is it this Far Lands thing, this thing we're really excited to see? Well, it's not actually that at all. What it is, is it's just an endless ocean and uh, although this is something I've heard exists on the uh, Windows 10 edition when it comes to the uh, negative coordinates and I figured like oh yeah that must be what it was it must just be like slightly backwards or something oh and we broke the game so <laughs> that's my point about this every time you try to do anything with this it's going to crash your game so just keep that in mind as we go forward. Okay, so there you saw it. it crashed the game. It takes a long time to get from the crash back into the game. So although it's worth doing, once you get here, it's worth trying not to teleport around again because what if, if you try to do that immediately, for some reason it always crashes the first time I do it. Again, I'm not sure why it's specifically coordinates after going to the Far Lands, but it seems to cause a crash right now and presumably will in the future because this is a very buggy part of the world. Bear in mind, you're seeing a bunch of mobs uh, spawn and they're just falling right through the ground because although the Far Lands doesn't exist right here, what does exist instead is this very glitchy part of the world where things just don't really really properly work. So, uh, for instance, if you look around, you can see how there's just like, um, you know, like, again, you can see all those mobs falling through the floor, and if we <laughs> you just saw a pig fall right there, and if you try to go to enter the spots where they did fall through, you can actually see that you'll fall through right with them, and you have to just fall out the world and see where all of these mobs are going. So there are some villagers falling down and dead, uh, there are some <laughs> pigs falling down. Basically, yeah, everything is falling right through the world, and it's causing this very, very strange thing to occur, because the blocks are not solid this far out from the world. At some point, uh, you know, some million blocks out, uh, what actually happens happens is the world just stops really properly existing and it's a very very strange thing however uh, there is some safeguards to stop your frame rate from dipping so even though the game is broken in every way like even movement do you see this like you're walking forwards and backwards but it's like <laughs> I'm not really walking I'm kind of like just glitching that way that's because instead things go a little bit weird when it comes to that so yeah as you can see this is how things work and just in case you are curious like okay let's type slash teleport so cat and let's go to the other side because again this is something that happens on negative coordinates for the uh, for the pocket edition and for the windows 10 version what happens if you go slash teleport and then we type toy cat but negative this time so we're going to go to the opposite side of our world the opposite far land and we're going to see if maybe that has an, a positive impact on what goes on so again if i'm not mistaken it's 12 uh, so minus i guess we should go with so negative this means we're going again opposite direction we're going to go negative 12 five five oh eight hundred that is uh, it's 821 where it starts so we'll be 20 blocks away and then we'll type in uh 100 you know we'll just go 100 flat and then we'll go to actually let's do uh and then yeah positive 
Y1255. Oh, so we'll get the corner of Farlands. Oh, what should be the corner of Farlands, but if I'm not mistaken, I haven't been here yet, but what should happen instead, because I checked the positive positive, is what you'll end up with instead is this weird thing where, oh, there's there's actually nothing here. There's just pure ocean, uh, because the Farlands looks like they generate in much, much further in on the console in, in some way, and uh, they also don't generate properly, so you get just a big, like, because, again, the ocean was clearly properly started back there. Or maybe this is the ocean on one side. It's hard to be sure what's on the world border and what's not right here. So let's go way down below the ocean. Okay, so we're not the world border right now. But just over there, it's the world border. And as you can see, because we're in an ocean anyway, it looks like the console world border. They, they've taken the console world, bo world border and they've used it for the Far Lands instead of the Far Lands. Which is kind of depressing, honestly. Because one of the cool things about having an infinite world is what happens when you reach the edge of the infinite. But what, what actually turns out is like when you reach the edge of infinite on console, you just get this. I don't know if this is something sort of like the console procedures where like you know you're not allowed to have a game breaking bug something like that but it does cause some weird stuff and you can see like very clearly where like the proper water ends and like the fake edge water begins it's very strange stuff and it looks like the code might have even been directly copied from console because it's suspiciously similar in my opinion but that's something you can see right there so uh, it's probably gonna crash as we go type our corners again it did so <laughs> let's go back into the game and let's show you some other weird oddities about this like the never in the end I, th I think the game just crashed there just by loading it up because previously it had the file lands in there. So there you go. That's the even more uh, error prone when you're doing this. But let's try this again. One more time. Wait, this is just crashing the video. Uh, the epic experience by IBX Toy Cat. Ah, you see a crash was in fact detected. So, okay, we're back in the game now. It's just about functioning. And let me go into a previous world because, again, I want to test the uh, Neverin stuff, but I also want to show you something else that happened when I went to the Far Lands the very first time I did it. So I've got lots of weird uh, buggy tests. So assuming the world doesn't immediately crash, which is a fair possibility, I want to show you one of the far, uh, the most bizarre and strange functions of the Far Lands because, uh, like I said, uh, the world doesn't exist. None of the blocks are physically there. You can fall through any of them, right? And so can any mob because, they're again, they're like invisible blocks. You can only see them. However, However, something which is immune to this, and you can probably already guess it because it's right in front of me, is the horse. The horse is for, and also donkeys and mules, any mount like this is immune from the edge of the world, which means even though you fall through the grass, and oh, do you see that? Like I'm inside like a full grass block here. Uh, even though you fall inside the grass, the horse does not, which means uh, as you can probably work out, so let's throw that away, let's throw these away, which means as you can probably work out. Also look at, look how slidey the ground is for items. It's like it's ice or something. There's just no friction. But yeah, if we hop on our horse, as you can see right here, we actually actually have a horse and if we put a saddle on it which we should be able to do oh no if we <laughs> okay so let's 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 get ourselves a saddle uh what you can actually do is you can go to the far lands and you can confuse your friends as to why they can't even go on the ground but you're here with your horse and you <laughs> you can actually run around in the far lands and again you can't go left or right properly but you can have a one di a one dimensional horse race or two dimensional i guess it'd be uh, if you want to so yeah boom fun fact you can have uh horses which go <laughs> <laughs> uh, which don't probably work because obviously the it's it, this is weird stuff basically but the far lands is super super strange on console and it leads to stuff like this if you want it to or if you don't want it to but you kind of have to uh, and also like i said before because the blocks aren't real uh, stuff like this doesn't properly fall, so you can cause gravel to fall through other blocks which is the ultimate way to get rid of gravel like if you even punch it anywhere like the moment you punch a block under gravel oh man you can see the gravel falls <laughs> not only just through the floor, but below the block below it as well. Which oh wow, we just caused the <laughs> we're causing like giant gen reactions, and we've just dipped our frame rate uh, to some absurdly low value. But yeah, uh, have you ever wanted to just get that gravel out of your world altogether? In fact, let's follow, let's let's punch some gravel and let's follow it down, shall we? I'm, I'm curious as to what actually it, what it looks like as it falls through the world. So here's what it looks like all the way down here at the bottom. There's the gravel. It falls and it vanishes somewhere. <laughs> uh, oh, also, we saw an abandoned mine shaft on the way down here. Let's see if we can see it on the way up. And let's see if that leads to some weird stuff, too. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, an abandoned mine shaft. As you can see, the abandoned mine shaft at the far lands doesn't actually look much different because it shouldn't be, but in theory. But none of the blocks do exist, so there's going to be no mobs here. And also, the fence posts, as you can see, this is another weird glitch, actually. So, we're going to need some ender piles to get this, I guess which are probably here in items. So we'll grab some ender pearls and we'll teleport over there. Yeah, as you can see, fence posts, <laughs> they, they look like this at the edge of the world. I I have no idea what, what that even is. But as you can see, the game does believe it is a fence post, but they all look like this. So boom, we've just discovered a secret block only found at the edge of the world. Uh, if we can light this place up, 
Which, oh, by the way, torches look like this. Because <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> look at them. They're 2D. Why is everything broken so badly? But yeah, have you ever wanted to find a secret block that looks like this? Guess what? In the end, uh, sorry, in, in, in the Far Lands, it's possible. However, the next logical question I had to ask is what happens when he goes to the Never? Because the Never Far Lands on the uh, Pogtician are very different to the Never Far Lands and uh, on the... Uh, Oh, sorry, the difference to the regular Far Lands. And I've heard on the Windows 10 version, where again, there's oceans on certain sides, uh, there is actually still a like sky grid kind of element at the edge there. So what I figured we had to do is go into the Never, logically probably crash the game, and then see what happens when we get there. So let's get our flint and steel out. Or let's get our flint and steel to the inventory. And now let's get it out. And let's uh, hop over there. So actually, let's see what cobblestone uh, walls look like too. Oh look, they're just as beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Every block gets to be beautiful today. Oh god, that's just weird stuff. But yeah, let's go in our portal. Oh, we can't because we can't get over there. So let's like end a pole in there. This this is not... How do we get... I just want to... <laughs> yeah, again, like I said, so sometimes you can't go forwards or backwards at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. So <laughs> we just have to do the same over there now. There we go. We're in the, <laughs> we're in the never. We made it. I don't know how. But we're here. So as you can see, this isn't actually the Far Lands and the Never yet, even though it's glitchy in the same way and stuff. Uh, because we're only a million blocks out, things are only slightly glitchy. They're not all the way glitchy. So as you can see, things are a little bit different here. There are still mobs. There's still blowing lava. Things are still functioning. But what happens when we try to go to the Far Lands? So again, you want to see this again? Same exact thing, but in the Never. Slash teleport. And then you type your gamer tag. If you're not Toy Cat, this won't work. It'll teleport me there like into your game and then over there. And then again, uh, this is actually a coordinate worth remembering, so you don't have to look it up every time. It's 12,550,800. You might think, how am I gonna remember that? I don't know how I remember it, so I guess like chunk it into three bits. It's 12,550,800, no wait, 12,550,800, oh, whatever. You know, there's a song in there. Um, <laughs> I'm, I've got like the IT crowds like uh, 0118, Something, something, something in my head. But anyway, let's just go there and let's go to zero now. And if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I could be mistaken and the game instantly crashes. I mean, that could happen if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, as you can see, we made it to the part of the far land, uh, sorry, the part of the never, where things just break. And as you can see, once you go past this point, it's like the regular overworld, where for some reason, there's no far lands, there's just endless sea of lava. So this is interesting because on console, this is actually, you know, this isn't the same as console. Oh, but the ceiling is the same as console. So yeah, as you can see, it's the exact same... Um, <laughs> that cast has no idea what to do. Um, it's the exact same uh, idea as the overworld, except lava instead of water. But it's not the same as the console where there's a big layer of bedrock at the end. Instead, you just kind of get this instead, which is, I think, kind of fascinating. So yeah, as you can see, uh, mobs can survive if they fall in the lava. But if they go into any of the blocks, the blocks do not exist and they fall right through them. So yeah, fun fact, you can see through the whole world like this. And uh, this is the very edge of the Minecraft world. If I load up the chat again to teleport to the corner far lands, it will break the game, so I kind of want to avoid that. Oh, this is so weird to look at. <laughs> Everything is strange today, and that's something we should expect. But yeah, so let's, um... Oh, yeah, th th because there's so much lava, they're all just falling into it and not actually dying all the way. So that's nice, I guess. But let's fall all the way out of the world, shall we? Let's see what happens when we get below this. And as you can see, it's the exact same thing as the other world where they just fall down and hit an eventual death <laughs> underneath the void at various different points for some reason. But yeah, let's fly up through this nonsensical never and let's show that yes, in fact, there is no such thing as the edge of the, uh, the never. It looks like it just turns into lava and I guess we should try it again. It's gonna break the game and it broke the game. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the game one more time and we're gonna see what happens at the corner never far lands. Okay, so as you can see, I can see through my head right now for reasons unknown. Anyway, so we're back now. Uh, we load up the world, and this time we're gonna get this thing to work. So we're gonna teleport ourselves to the corner, never far lands. And again, theoretically, it should just be two pools of lava uh, meeting, but it might be like the overworld where at least it's something slightly different, or maybe nothing interesting happens at all. But yeah, it looks like the far lands in general to kind of sum it up as we go along. So one more time. Uh, one, two, five, five. I, oh, eight, one, oh, whatever. Okay, let's, let's try this. One, two, five, five. Oh, wait, oh, oh. There's not enough numbers to get like a real jingle going. Uh, but you want to type that, and then you want to type 100. And then we're going to type it again. So, one, two, five, five, eight, oh, wait, oh, oh, whatever. You know what? The less chunks you put it into, the better. I can't make a song, but maybe you can in your head that's better than that. It started well, it just kind of ended. So let's press X now. 
and let's teleport to the corner never far land. So again, the same game breaking stuff, as you can see, we're inside some blocks right now, which is slightly confusing, but the same corner stuff is gonna be happening here. But once we go above that, oh, we've gone above the whole world. So I guess we've just teleported inside, like, I guess let's pull down until we find something here. There we go. So, okay, this is fascinating. This exact seed we're on, Happened to have a nether fortress at the edge of the world. This is incredibly rare. Oh, oh, we found it. We found it. We hit them up. We hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot. We have found the sky grid at the edge of the far lands. Plus we found a nether fortress here. This is truly, this is next level amazing stuff. Like we have found a broken nether, <laughs> like the nether fortress clearly isn't meant to be out here. It's just hovering over lava because it's, it's not programmed to handle the very edge of the world. And then we have just over here, sky grid. So yeah, sky grid is Quite a fascinating little thing. You can see some of the Nev Fortress in here too. Uh, where basically every three blocks, there is a block. Uh, the exact, si uh, you know, maths and science behind this, I, exa I, I forget right now, but it's, um, you know, something sort of the game, like just not being able to deal with coordinates over that amount. And it means that, yeah, you can see instead of the whole world generating, the world generates like normal, but only in these patterns. So like where there's meant to be never quartz, there'll be never quartz, but nothing in between. Where there's meant to be, okay, so we need to get through this. There we go. Where there's meant to be gravel, you can see there's gravel floating in the middle of the air. If we punch it, it just vanishes. This, <laughs> this is such a strange place. And yeah, we can keep on going in this direction if we want to, and things will just get more and more broken. And uh, yeah, you just see like more and more strange far lands. But this is how things work. Oh, except glowstone, which uh, functions entirely fine. So yeah, you'll see, um, I think structures will generate just fine off this point, but the whole of the normal world, the normally generated Minecraft world, just doesn't really know what to do with itself after this point. So you just, <laughs> we found another one, wow. Uh, so you end up with just lots of weird stuff like this. And oh look, we got more glitched fences. They're glitched never fences this time. And uh, yeah, you get glitched blocks like this. You get it. Oh, is, isn't this beautiful? They've turned just into full blocks now. <laughs> and yeah, have you ever wanted? To oh, and the the stairs for some reason can't function as stairs either. They're just full on blocks. Uh, this is this is the strangest thing I've ever found. And uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of share this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me know if at some point you want me to explore this again. Maybe find all of the blocks that are glitched out here. <laughs> because this is so strange. Things just do not look normal at all. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, oh, the Nether Fortresses don't really exist either. So you can just hop through them and you can go get the chests if that you what you want. And let's be honest, that's what we want here. So, oh, okay. We're inside the place. Let's, we can't even, we can't even go left or right. We have to like, just <laughs> do it on some delay. So we're gonna go this direction now. Can we do it? Let's go there. Let's get this chest. Let's see if we can get in there. Uh, but yeah, basically things are very really glitchy right now, but that's, I guess, oh, normal because we're so far out. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Like if you liked it, share if you liked it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more of this sort of stuff. I really enjoy these sorts of explorations into weird Minecraft mechanics. And it looks like the console got an exclusive version of it where even though it's pretty normal on the uh, regular sides, it's fascinating anyway. Uh, it's normal on the regular sides, both the never and the, um, and on top of the uh, the world. But if you go to the corner of the, uh, the regular world or indeed just like the plus positive Y coordinates or Z coordinates, sorry. Um, then what you'll end up with is sky grid in Minecraft, except none of the blocks are real. None of these blocks really exist. And also most blocks kind of end up broken. So yeah, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Like if you liked it, share if you liked it. And I'll see you all later today for a live stream, I believe. So thank you very much for watching. That magma cube is jumping from, okay, you know, that's too much. So goodbye.